joking! <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Vampire Diaries. Today we'll be watching episode 2 of season 8. Today will be different. Um, let's just crack right on and find out who this new... Hold on, that's a freaking spider. Oh my god, what was I saying? The siren business. So there is now this new siren that has come in this particular series, which is the evil that was trapped in the vault and it was feeding off of people all the bad people i don't know if it was like sort of like a turn on or something but it was basically something where she uses that evil and makes up flesh for herself and i guess that evil will make her more powerful the bad deeds of everything else of her victims i don't know Let's see what happens and uh, I guess it's going to be a very interesting episode because uh, we have a lot going on in terms of like first Enzo giving clues, Damon switching off his humanity, uh, Caroline moving in with Stefan and um, yeah, I mean a lot happening so let's find out and also the sirens want uh, Josie and uh, Lizzie so Lizzie, yeah Lizzie. So what's going to happen in this episode? Let's find out. I'm merely an ancillary supplier following a corporate mandate. Me too. My colleague and I are in the same boat. Guess everyone answers to someone, huh? <laughs> Tell me about it. Ask my wife. When somebody loves you. Oh my God. Slowest murder. Ever. I'm telling his mind to stay calm. I read on the internet that chickens that are slaughtered in factories don't taste as good because their bodies release all this adrenaline. about losing Damon's trail again. He was just as freaked out as I was, but he's distracting himself by researching our new enemy. I think you guys overpaid me this week. Might have been a mix-up. <laughs> wow. No, no, no mix-up. Caroline That's and I decided to give easy. you a raise. Wow, thank you. You heard it. Yeah. I don't know what I want. Well, it's not true. You want what everybody wants. You want what everybody wants. Tell me, what is it that I want? You want a love that consumes you. Eventually. Wait, eventually, who was that? Quite some time. Is that My Sarah? Now we need to be looking for crimes farther away from Tennessee. Shocking. I've been traveling these past few days. Since Tennessee's where I'll Klaus and radius. especially now that we know Stephen Enzo's making clues. Then why hasn't he left anymore? Her real name is Sarah Salvatore. She's my last living relative. Unless Damon gets to her first. No. Look, I'm not trying to get in this head. I just I'm trying to save Sarah. That's all. Check this out. There's now a wall where there was none before. My friends have forgotten me, though I can hear her voice louder than ever. Her voice? So your theory is that Harvey was hearing an actual siren? A reasonably good-looking, charming accent. And he'd be the most amazing wingman if he just got rid of his martyr complex. That's not how you play funny questions. Why'd you have to go and piss her off? How are you so afraid of her without your emotions? <laughs> I'm afraid of her. I'm afraid of that eternal damnation preview she gave me when she got in my head. That's mind games. And we talk somewhere privately, Miss Nelson. What are you lot doing here? Nice to see you too. Hello, love. Hello. June 21st, 1790 was the day the armory received a mysterious shipment from the town of Mystic Falls. Rules in uniform. Beautiful. I've seen that symbol before. So this is the new you? Long silences and cryptic messages. I wasn't so cryptic. 
You understood it, didn't you? Not to nitpick, but you could have just written the word siren. Oh, therein lies the dilemma. I myself am completely occupied in maintaining my own cover. Look, understand my situation. The enemy has been entering my mind, attacking me mentally, digging for ways to leverage my obedience. I have been fighting her every moment of every day, hiding my innermost thoughts to make her believe that there's nothing she can hold against me. I have to get back to keep up the pretense. Do you follow? <laughs> I can't. And you can't kill her. She's part of our family. Her family's dead, stuff, and you and I included. She's Uncle Zach's daughter. Her name is Sarah Salvatore. I'm gonna show you something. All right, that's the opposite of the quorum. Relax. Whoa, what the frick? Does this count as being serious about my research? Is waking up somewhere else, and it wasn't a place exactly so much as this crazy intense awareness of pain and loneliness and fear I came with library access so i used all that time to get into every piece of myth lore near-death accounts i basically gave myself a phd in hell because i know where i'm going one day the body stop the car ah! oh, i have to get out what's wrong i'm too far away from her she's trying to pull me back in we need to turn around right now you know you'd do the same. You never lost me, Bonnie Oh. Please stay. I can't put you in any more danger. You have to let me go. Huh? Oh, the little brat. She freaking pisses me off the most. The fact that Stefan and I are happy? No, I'm happy that you're happy. I am. But when I see everything that you have, your home, your boyfriend, your kids, your life, it makes me feel so alone that I want to die. No matter what else happens in my life, I'm here for you, whatever you need, even if it's just to rage at me and scream at me. None of this is your fault. Except I was so caught up in my own drama, I didn't even realize what this was doing to you. Is Sarah okay? Nope. I mean, all I have so far is a series of tenuous connections between a journal from 1790, my intern's secret tattoo, and unconfirmed reports of hell as a place that offers up not only emotional turmoil, but ancient mystical ruins. This thing? It was delivered with your vault inhabitant? I think it was made in hell. I will brave the oceans and sail past the sirens to find my way back to you. You can't carry this all by yourself. Actually, I have to. Last Salvatore standing. Every blood relative I've ever had, ever known. After today, they are all gone. The girls' beds should arrive tomorrow. I'm knocking this wall out so that they can fit side by side. Oh, my God. You're making this into a room for my kids? Yeah, I mean, I figured they might want to come visit. You're joking! Will you do me the honor of wearing this engagement ring? Oh yay! We're having a June wedding! Oh, oh, that's so nice. After all the shit we went through. Um, I think this season is going to bring out the worst in me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure um, with the way this character has been set up. She is very not my, uh, I don't know. It's not the actress. Please don't take this into the wrong perspective. I mean the character. 
um, only because we had no clue what was going on. And there is literally in one episode, we find out that this person is a siren. This person's name is Sybil, uh, fed on 87 victims. is literally like a mermaid who sings to sailors and lures them into a trap and then kills them like literally the vicious devil and somehow um she already managed to you know take control of enzo and damon with literally we you know it's just that we got introduced to this particular supernatural being and then immediately we're like She's already damaged so much. That is what is, is pissing me off. And it's going to bring out the worst in me. I'm going to try and control it. But yeah, I'm going to definitely try and control it. I don't like using words like this, but I'm just... Uh, when, I'm, when I get angry, I do say these things and I just don't want to. But yeah, um, so this is just specifically for the character. Um, my least favorite again. Like I'm not going to... I mean, we've just been introduced to her in this episode. We saw her come out of a pool of blood in the first episode. But now, look, like, I don't know, just seeing the damage that she's done has just made me not like this character as a villain at all. She's like the worst of the worst, in my opinion. And I, ugh, it's like annoying me. But yeah, anyhow, that's my sort of opinion towards her uh again no uh this is not for the actress i'm pretty sure the actress playing this is doing a fantastic role but um yeah it's just the character i just don't like the way it's being written and uh that's just my own selfish thought about how they i because i thought we'll go into this a bit more positive and everything going chippy and now she's far because the main thing is she found out about bonnie i hate that like i genuinely do not like that so yeah and um now we have established her sort of powers and we've lost sarah salvatore uh, i mean i'm sorry and then um the other thing is there is this tattoo thing which seems to be of a real significance to that girl georgie and that weapon and in that book so there are three places where that ta that symbol was and i can't remember what he said rick it's something with the c like he said something uh come cumin of form or something i can't remember but um it's definitely got some significance maybe to the siren and in hell so i mean if the sirens are messengers of the devil pretty sure that tattoo has got something to do with the sirens um but yeah let's see what happens in the next episode and um the, the best thing about this was uh Bonnie and Enzo fighting for each other, but trying to protect each other at the same time. And, uh, well, Stefan and uh, Caroline are going to have a June wedding. I hope they remember that because I, for some reason, remember it very clearly. But, um, yeah, let's see what happens in episode three. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't, please don't forget to wear a mask and stay safe for your friends and family. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.